welcome to Chris Barkin Shooting Sports. Today I'm unboxing this Caldwell Target Turner. Um, I, uh, I ordered this because I thought it looked quite interesting and it gives me a bit of a, a different sort of target shooting solution or shooting options which will uh, suit some people's types of shooting course of fire better than others. But essentially what it is, is it's a ground stand with a motor on it and there is a target on top of it which will turn in and out of view. And I believe it goes from between one and six second variable delay intervals and it will all pack down to be transported around where you need it. So, doing the unboxing routine, we've got various packaging components and all the items inside which look like they need some assembly so that's always good fun we've got some tools we've got very small parts here which will hopefully all come clear when the instructions are out there's a carrying bag there and then this looks like the actual target board itself so here's the instructions that's the Corex target board so I'll just pop this to one side for one moment have a little look at some of the features on it. So, it says here, uh, presents and hides target for an interactive shooting experience. Turner collapses down into a carry bag, approximately 26 inches long by nine inches by nine inches. The delay is one to six seconds and it requires eight AA batteries, which will give you 11 hours run time. Uh, patent pending, it says target's not included, which means you need some kind of target to stick onto the Corex backer. Corex backers are somewhat uh, consumable. You can get Corex quite easily though, because of course the more you get them shot, bullets go through things, don't they? So there we go. Uh, 90, degree mo 90 degree motorized turning ability, um, 54 inches overall height. I think we've covered most of it. It does say stake, stake holes to stake to the ground. So when you've actually got the platform in place, you can stake it down. Um, variable delay, folding legs for easy transport. Uh, accepts IDPA, IPSC and NRA action pistol cardboard targets which you know are equally transferable to rifle disciplines less than 60 seconds setup time low center of gravity and stake holes, uh, holes allow you to hold it down um, prevent high wind damaging it knocking it over uh, entire target turner collapses down into the included carry bag those would seem to be pertinent details so let's have a look at the instructions now and see how it all goes fits together Right, I'm back with some batteries, so let's load this up with eight double A's. See how it goes. I always like to test things before I leave home, just in case something's not working. I'm fairly confident with this. All right, eight batteries in there. That cap back on. Without reading the instructions at all, let's just switch that on and see what happens. Ah, that, one will, that would appear now to be automatically altering the targets. I've got that at full speed. So if I turn that right down, it clicks off completely. If I click it on, turn it up until I can just hear the motor running. And then I can see how it's flipping it back and forth now. Using that long delay between them and speed it up, and it'll turn a lot faster. Right, time to get this outside, pick up a rifle, go and test it. So, we can see on here it comes in a carriage bag. It's a little bit breezy today, which means we get to check the, uh, the stability of it in the wind. So, if we lift this out now, just fold out the legs, and that will just stand there like that. To assemble it, we put the post in here, it goes into the stop. If I just put that on full speed just to check it's all working, that's all working. And now we need to put the target holder itself in position. If I just check that, that's going to turn back and forth thus. 
So when we fold the Corex open, the unit comes with these two plastic clips here and you can leave them on the Corex but what they'll do is when you slide them along and put them central in the Corex it'll stop it folding which makes it a lot more palatable to, uh, to store in the case and then we can slot the Corex into these. So these are sprung steel arms and that will just pop down there like that and then when I turn it on go for somewhere halfway that's going to turn back and forth for us to shoot from that position so let's put some targets on it now it's also windy today and it does say you can put pins through the feet like that so I'm going to put pins through make sure it can't blow over it doesn't come with the pins but these are the kind of things that's easy to get from a camping shop or somewhere like that so now we're going to have a little competition. Chris and I are going to shoot five rounds each. He's going to shoot the top spot. I'm going to shoot the bottom spot. And we're going to do this completely off the cuff and see how we get on. Are you ready, Chris? Okay. Fire when ready. Top spot. Okay, are we ready? Well, the target worked beautifully, but I didn't shoot very well. Right, Chris won the first attempt. We're going to go the second attempt now, but we're going to shoot faster this time. So, go for it. It's actually very good fun this, it brings a whole new difference to shooting because in the world where everybody's getting ultra precise it's nice to go back, back to a bit of fast fire. I can tell you've been using this gun because you've turned the magnification up. Right, five shots at the bottom one now. Lost count. Stop it. Stop. Okay. I have. Let me think before. I had one out, two out. Did I have two in anyway? Out of the ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I only had three in the first time, so that means I've put better in this time. You've got. Yeah, you did all right, actually. Just not, not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I think you might have beat me there, actually. You've got a bit of, you've got another edgy line cutter, but I was a lot faster shooting yes. than you were. Right. I, I missed something. Are we having another go? Pretty quick. Now, I will honestly say, we are only shooting about 20 yards, but it's all about the fun and the speed and the competition. So, we wound my scope up again. I've touched it this time. Let's see who wins. So this is running at full speed, this is how we've been shooting. Well we shot the first five at slow speed and we've shot the next two magazines each at full speed like this. So Chris, if you want to go in and turn it off now, we will compare scores. Right, 15 shots each. This is going to be close. One, hang on, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 shots, you've got one, two, three, four completely off and two line cutters. Um, I'm not feeling too confident here. Remember what you just scored. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I've got one, two, three, four, sorry, one, two, I think there's two in there. That's one. one, two, three, four, five completely out, one cheeky line cutter. So, um, I think I think you've beat me there depending on how we score it, but there we go. It was very good fun though, wasn't it? Good, yeah. Standing close and talk to the camera. So, is that good fun? Yes, it's good. Is that really easy to use? Very easy, yes. I am actually very impressed with that and I rather like it. I. Um, I like the Corex, I like the fact it's got the little fittings in here, it keeps it straight. It's easy to set up, it honestly does pack away into the pouch that it comes with. And it takes what, two minutes to set up maximum? Yeah, about that. I think all I would do is I would put, uh, I would probably staple some paper onto this and stick stickers to the paper, not directly to the Corex, because I think stickers stick to paper a bit better yeah, than Corex. Like would you that. agree with that? Yeah. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching that. Um, it's just so simple, it's so enjoyable. I'll just uh, show you the two speed settings a while to give you an idea of the variety. If I set it on this analog dial here and go down as slowly as possible is about there. So you get obviously long hidden times and also quite long exposure times, which you know might suit you for longer range shooting. We were just shooting rim fires at short range. And if you turn it right up, go about halfway, it's about there. And then all the way up is here and you can see it flicking backwards and forwards. And because it's super simple, switch it back off, just roll the dial back to zero and there you go. Packing it away is also really easy. I've just got the bag in my pocket here. So if I start out by taking the Corex off, I'll just put those to one side. Corex comes out, folds over, and I'll put that back in the bag. And of course it is windy today, but it's actually more stable than I thought it would be. And even with the Corex on top, the ground pegs weren't actually needed. We did put them in, but it wasn't mandatory. These pop out the top, just like that slot them back in the bag. The central column, similarly, pops back in the bag, making sure it's all switched off. Fold the legs down, fold everything together. You can adjust the tension on these legs if you want to make sure that they fit super tight. And I'll just pop that back away in there. And there we are, it's done. Right, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell, and keep track of the regular uploads. Thanks for watching, bye for now.